Hey, what's up guys, Ara here, and welcome back to a brand new video here today, and welcome to Survive Abu Dhabi. The Survive series is back for a second week in a row. We did Survive Brazil last week, which was a very eventful and challenging Survive episode. Actually, one of the most challenging ones I've ever done since starting that. Really great episode, so if you didn't see that, by the way, then be sure to go check that one out before you see the rest of this one. Obviously, since now we're here at the final week of the F1 2019 season proper in real life, and we're going to the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, I thought it'd only be fitting that we go and try and survive Abu Dhabi. I remember last year was the first time we did Abu Dhabi as a survive circuit and it was very difficult actually. The AI crashed a lot in a straight line before they even got to turn one. I'm hoping maybe they're a little bit clever. I'm hoping maybe they're a little bit smarter on this year's game but also as Brazil proved, you know, with the tight turns, you know, especially in sector one of Abu Dhabi when you go down the hill towards the chicane, perhaps it might be quite difficult to not only survive but remember get into the top ten because we're here on the PC, of course, if you don't know already, on F1 with an extreme hardcore damage mod installed. And the task today is trying to survive a whole lap without any, any bit of our car breaking off. Any tiny bits of it comes off. We have to restart the lap. And also the added caveat is we're doing it on a keyboard and we have to come in the top 10. Otherwise, I could just trundle around at the back. But without further ado, for his final outing here in Formula 1, for now, it would seem, we're going to be driving as Nico Hülkenberg in the Renault and trying to survive... Abu Dhabi. Right, so here we are then in P13, three places off the coveted P10, which doesn't sound like a lot. It's actually less than we had with the Ferrari at Brazil, but it could be it could be more challenging because we're in a runoff. Obviously, it's a slower car, and we did lose positions every single time we got off the five red lights, basically. And I have a feeling Abu Dhabi, this will either go two extremes. It'll be like Russia, where it was kind of anticlimactic. It was actually quite easy once you got past turn one. Or it'll be like Brazil, where it could cause an issue. I don't think there'll be an in-between margin. Just have a feeling. But let's get into this then, the very first attempt of this episode. We go to five red lights. We've got, oh dearie me, we've got Lance Stroll and Carlos Sainz. Of course they are right next to me. And again, Carlos Sainz is back to haunt us. He gets a great start there. I got a horrendous one off the lights there. Into turn one, not much crashing. No crap. What? Hang on. Sorry? No crashing whatsoever into turn one. That is unheard of. Right now, there's only been one DNF as I understand. Oh, Gasly. Oh, it had to. It was too good to be true. It was too good to be true. I was wondering what on earth's happening here. This isn't a normal survive episode. There's been no absolute chaos into turn one. This is going to be a massive challenge for us to get top 10. And then obviously, Gasly has to come in. Is it Gasly? Oh, it might be Kafiat. No, it was, was Kafiat. It wasn't even Gasly. For a second, there, I was going to blame him for his second year in a row being the one taking me out constantly because I very much got very upset at him last year. That was bizarre. That was. That was very odd. That was actually disconcerting that there was no crash to turn one. I was, I was kind of like, okay, hang on here. Have I installed the model? Here we go then. Five red lights, second time. And this time we actually get a good start there compared to Carlos Sainz. But we're going to have to try and cover him off on the inside. No, he stays there. He's on my inside. We're going to dive that inside. Norris has crashed. Oh, being collected by our teammate, Ricardo. And Sainz still managed to go down my inside despite me squeezing him all the way. It's meant to be. It is meant to be. The fact that Stroll and Sainz are here. It's meant to be. They were the ones causing all the issues last episode at Brazil. And now it's no surprise they're here again. At that time was a bit more like last year. But there was a crash in a straight line. I think it was Lando Norris just went straight on uh, into turn one. And crashed off that Red Bull. And obviously Ricardo collected us with a tight lack of space. Right, it's a, a mediocre start. Going to have to stick on the outside here. Science is going to actually box me in somewhere. Where? No, that's Science! What the... Carlos Sainz literally turned in on me there. The evidence will prove. Play that back. Oh, I'm going on board with Sainz. You're going to see him turn right right about now. Yep, it just actively turns right. And then my car is a little bit of a... I don't know how it even did that. My, my car did like an anti-wheelie or whatever. I don't know. Like the back end went up, I think. Oh, Jesus. I think... I think what's happened here is I think my front wing catapulted the rear end of the car. <laughs> yeah, or the, or the rear tire. That is spectacular. All right, it's only been like the third or the third attempt. For the, I literally can't even count the simple maths on that. Third attempt, I think, and we've already got an air, air, airborne car, so that bodes well for the entire rest of the video. Right, it's a horrendous... What is with these starts, Abu Dhabi? Jesus. And is it a Renault thing? I don't think... Oh, the Ferrari! Oh! I don't think the Ferrari got such a bad start like that, but that was going to be either way a front wing off, and then the, the, the Alfa Romeo just killed off with the right tyre. All right, we go again. K 
can I get a good start? I haven't, ever, we got that one good start. The very beginning with the AI alter not crashing to turn one. That was maybe the chance. The, the, the good omen. Now it's all bad omen because we're just getting a re really, really poor start here. Where do I go? Science is going to turn right on me. The Tor also squeezing me somewhat. There's a massive... Oh, look. No. No. Don't do it. No, no, no. That was a big one. It was not a big one, Jeff. It was the, the little... It was the littlest one you could have ever seen. It's good, though. Any circuit we go to... These guys love parking to go shopping. They just do. Okay. Will, will I'm going to will a good start in. Will it? Come on. Let's have a good start. Good start. Good start. Good start. Good start. It's mediocre at best, but it'll have to do. As we're going to we're going to cover off Carlos Sainz on the inside there. Dive down the inside as the racing points taken out. We're up into P11 then. No, oh, Magnussen! Why were you not accelerating, man? What were you waiting for? We're in. We're one place off and then what on earth happened to him? He just uh, he had a bit of contact, and then he... Look at this, he just slows. Look at the acceleration of everyone else. He literally just tried to brake check me, and successfully did it. I can confirm the vibe I'm getting at the moment, the feeling, is this is another Brazil sort of, you know, it's getting on my nerves already quite easy. It doesn't seem like a rush you kind of vibe. Where, Jesus, my life flashed before my eyes there. Carlos Sainz dived down me inside. He's cut me off here into turn one. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God, there's... Oh, why can you... That's unbelievable. No. Oh, so I was about to point out, look at the Mercedes on the right-hand side. Because that Merc did a full-on flip. Where is it? Oh, look at this. Yeah, the Merc got on its tires. I'm going to have to... Oh, it's not. It's completely ghosted, the crash. Here we go now. On board, well, actually, on board with the Red Bull, a bit better. As we go through with Albon. And the, the Mercedes completely flipped on its side here. And at that moment, as I was about to say, look at that Merc. We just come through at... Oh, the tiniest little bit on my front. Ah, well, those are the rules, but ah, uh, that was that was good, probably going to be that was going to be a good chance. I think. I think we're up. I, I think we're up positions. We lost some positions, but then they all kind of parked up there behind that crash with the Merc and the Red Bull. This time, oh uh, no! I don't. Oh, science is still there, man. So I look at the mirrors. Look at the mirrors. He's going to die me. He's got me. Oh, I've called. He, I, I, I what? I was gonna sit there and just wait for them to go, so then I got hit in the rear end. I didn't squeeze him enough here. I should have completely squeezed him out, but I just allowed him to send one. He caused his own accident. But then here was it? Ga it was Gasly. This time it was Gasly. A two, Pierre. A two. <laughs> in uh, inside is working. I just need to really commit, really commit to it. Completely go left. Cut science off. It's a good start for. Oh my! Ah! Ooh, yes, I took Carlos Sainz out and nothing broke on my car. Absolute wizardry from me. Okay, here we go. Here we go. No, don't, don't, don't you dare. Cool. All right, we, we survived. We're P15. Oh, we're last place now. I've got to gain five positions in a Renault. I've got to hope there's some crashing up ahead, boys. Otherwise, I am in trouble here for this attempt. But we took Carlos Sainz out. It's meant to be, surely. That's the side. Why are you all stopping like absolute muppets? You look ahead of you, yeah, on track. And you think, okay, still going, still going. Now they're going to start to break. But carry forward momentum. They, they just stop. Dead still. Here's the Red Bull. The Red Bull here. Bit of a domino effect. And then I don't know what goes on there. But, ugh. See, the issue is I'm too trusting. I'm too trusting the AI. I'm thinking, oh, you know what? They won't do it again. It can't surely happen again. And what happens? It happens again. But here we go then. Another attempt. I think this is, this must be at least 10 or something. It's been a, a really piss poor start there. Haven't uh, got a good start now for two attempts. We'll go around the outside. Oh! And another McLaren takes me out. Looks like McLaren are the team to, to beat this episode. They're the ones with a, with a, some sort of aggy nature towards me, this one. Uh, right, we go. Ah, uh, that's a horrific start there. I'm being absolutely... That's the worst start I've got ever. Being swamped by every car. But we're going to go down the inside of... So are you okay? Oh, that's it's spot ass again. He, re he really likes that. He really likes that style of crashing. The rear tyre underneath his car. He, he can't get enough of it. Not saying anything, but his bot ass like to, you know, you know, get some stuff down at the rear end. Oh, but I'm not going to de get demonetized. Something, something, tyres, rear end, something. Right, here we go then. Again. Can I actually get a, a decent start? We've had some horrendous ones. I'm due a good one now. Uh, I would say that's a good one. Yeah, we've covered off science. Good stuff. Right, I still maintain inside's the way to go. Right, easy does it. Easy does it. Uh, oh, my. Bad. Are you right? Lads. You know you're all right. Lads, are you even trying to take turn one? Do you see the big yellow car in front of you? It's literally just him. 
he's just... Yeah, he's just turned left into me and then Kafiat finishes off the job. He's a hitman. He's a hitman and he's out to get me. I'm on I'm on some sort of most wanted list or something like that by McLaren. Right, here we go. Again. You know what? I'm going to stick to the outside. Screw the inside. It's done nothing for me for the last few. Outside is the way to go. Even though I'm getting boxed out and overtaken by everyone on the outside. Uh, oh my giddy aunt. I was off circuit. I was off circuit and he even got me. How? I'm um I'm retracting my statement. The outside's not the one. The inside is the one. The outside betrayed me straight away after one attempt. So we go again. We have not even got past sector one. I would like to do that. If possible, please. Can I see the, the back straight maybe? Into to Oh my lord. What a crash by the Toro Rosso. But we're good. We're good. Oh no! no! I got a puncher! I got a puncher from Daybreak! I have not had that in a singular moment in an F1 game for about many, many... I can't even remember the last time I had a punch off Daybreak. And now is the time it does it. I was scot-free. I avoided the Williams. And then that front... that that This bit of the front wing. Is it a Red Bull? I think it, it looks like a Red Bull front wing. Slashes the tyre. Oh, you can't make this stuff up. You can't. You really can't. Of all things, punch. I don't think I've ever got a puncher like like just just the puncher, and that's the thing that's maybe restart the session in a Survive Series episode ever since I started doing this in like 2013, 2014. Ever. Ah. Are you alright? Oh, you know it's this is getting real tiring, sights. It's getting real, real, real tiring. We go again, please. Getting on my nerves now. Kind of like to do this now and get to. Uh, science is there on the inside. I'm losing the will to live, lads. I really am already. I feel like I've lost my patience earlier than I did with Brazil because we're not even got through into sector two, uh, and I'm not got anywhere near P10. Okay, this is good. Okay, good turn. But this is the. Ah, uh, he's down my inside. I can't see the keyboard. So unmystery. Right, I need a big crash here, and I can gain some positions down. Oh, fudge. Ironically, that's the same crash I kind of had with Verstappen on the Real Racing 3 video I did a day ago. Come on, come on. We're, we need to get, we need to overtake people. It's not as difficult as Turn 1 Brazil. You know, this Turn 1's quite inviting. We should be able to at least gain one position or maintain our P13 here and um, and then get through into the top 10. Come on. Good start. Good start. Good. Avoid Verstappen. This is decent. No puncher. Right. Who's on my left? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. It's Ricardo. Oh, oh no! I've had enough. I've had enough. Look at this. Oh, I avoid him. I avoid him. Then he just comes across. Turn one at Brazil. Turns one and two at Brazil were difficult for the actual turning angle. Like how much you had to turn and how tight that turn was to avoid crashes. This, this first sector is difficult because there's so much... Science! As I was going to say... This first sector has so much long, windy turns, and the understeer is so profound on the keyboard. That's what's making it a challenge here. Uh, and also, Carlo Sainz being an utter, utter muppet here. And to uh I want to end myself. All right, cool, Sam. They're, now they're just now they're just out accelerating me and hitting me very subtly on the left hand side, and uh, I can't even get through into turn one again. So that's great. That's awesome. What is this? What is this voodoo magic now? I'm nearly 4-1 to turn one. This is not it. Oh, oh my god. What? <laughs> that guy's completely gone upside down. I'm done. Every restart we do, they get more erratic. They, they really, really do. It's not like me just making it up. They just do that. And Gasly, of course it's Gasly. He's the one that goes for a while right here. And he's completely upside down. Good stuff. I'm not joking. This is giving me a headache. This is, I'm getting more annoyed and vexed internally than I ever did at Brazil. Because in Brazil, I kind of had some hope, you know, of like, oh, you know what, we do this and that. We could get there. Right now, I've got no hope. We've not got through into sector two yet. Um, and the crashes just keep getting worse right down the inside. No, don't hit me. Don't hit me. We're P13. Good. Oh, no. We're down. No. Oh, I'm going to understeer here. Lord. Lord, have mercy on me. Right, here we go. Okay, we're P16. No, there's a Taros. This Renault can't get a P10. I need a pile-up. F1 gods. You perform miracles for me at Brazil. Please. Please do it again. <clears throat> Give me strength. Give me strength or, or give me an aspirin. 
to. Uh, I can't even. Sp I don't even want to speak. I'm just annoyed now. This is frustrating because I can see where this is going. I just can't get P10. Like this Renault's too slow, and these guys are so quick. Like, oh my god! I I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm just sending it. I'm just gonna send it through on the outside. Just, just not care about it because I've, I've lost, I've lost the will to care. To be honest. Um. So yeah, into turn one. Uh, around the outside. Yeah, good. Avoid Bottas. Good stuff. Good stuff. Right, we're P14 though. Still got four places to make up. No. No, don't crash. Okay, good, 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 good. Stay here, stay here, stay ahead, stay ahead, stay ahead, stay ahead of the Williams. Right, we're P15. Okay, that's cool. We'll stick behind Gasly. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, here we go. New territory. Sector 2. Hairpin's a bit tricky. Oh, Hairpin's very tricky on the keyboard. No! I've had to take a wider line because I couldn't even get the line correct. We've been overtaken by George Russell. This is pathetic. Okay, gonna have to be... Ah, uh, oh. I even crashed into him in a straight line. Right, please be a massive crash up ahead of me. Please. Dear God, I need it. I need it. Otherwise, we're going to not be able to get P10. I need a crash now. Or now. Or now. Or actually, you know what? Next corner. Come on. Come on. I see some side-by-side -side moments. Come on. Now. Big crash. Now. Now. Yes! Yes! Come on. Yes! Yes! My prayers have been answered again! Yes! Okay. Don't hit a bollard. Don't hit a bollard. Nice and easy. P7. We've done it again. We've all, Our prayers have been answered by the F1 gods. A massive pile up of massive proportions. And now, easy does it. Ricardo's P6. It's a miracle for Renault here, ladies and gents. But we've done it. We're going to come through to survive the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. This has been maybe a little bit less, actually. It seems like less of a challenge than Brazil was. But trust me, inside, internally, it's actually peed me off more than Brazil for some reason. Here we go, though, to the line. And we have survived the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Finally. Go suck an egg, Carlos Sainz. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to smash the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're on your own, here to try for weekly. For all on content, I've been Arifa. Have a good day. Goodbye.